Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For August the 10th through August the 11th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For August the 10th through August the 11th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so taurus if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com taurus these are your cards honey so, Taurus, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Taurus, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, you could have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition on what you should do because you guys are having this passionate, heated discussion or argument with some type of confrontation here. Taurus, you could also tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning confronting this person. 
because you could have found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion and starting a new beginning somewhere else. Taurus, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. <clears throat> but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now Taurus, listen, you could be trying to decide something here, Taurus. You know, maybe you're changing your perspective, using your intuition, weighing things out here. But Taurus, I feel like you're saying, you know what, I'm going stagnant. I need some time to be alone because juggling was taking place here. Taurus, you have the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation, or you're pissed and you have an ax to grind. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that I'm happy, I want to be happy, I'm over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands 
for Taurus. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Taurus. Clarify the fool for Taurus. Clarify the fool for Taurus. It is clarified with the king of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Taurus, you could be dealing with this Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Taurus, listen, you're telling me that you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here, Taurus. You know, Taurus, let me tell you. Okay, Taurus. Mm -mm -mm. With this card, the Five of Swords, you could very well be pissed. You can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because something was illuminated about them out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, taking a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Just out being the king of wands, being a player over here, waving the wand everywhere. However, Taurus, you could also be all up in your head. And let me tell you why. I feel like you're all up in your head. You're thinking to yourself, using your intuition. Using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning you starting a passionate new beginning, going out to juggle, going out to be a player because you're pissed. You're ready to up and do something here, Taurus, as a tit for tat. Because they did it first and now you're getting ready to do it. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Taurus, you can tell me there's something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. For Taurus, clarify the five of pentacles for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the tower. Mm. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Taurus, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Taurus, listen, you could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. 
Now, Taurus, you can tell me it's a shocking revelation and a breakup taking place here because of something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here, something that you're finding out about. Taurus, you can tell me that there was a shocking revelation and a breakup because they were dealing with someone from their past. However, Taurus, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can tell me that you're going to break up with this person. And you're going to find some some form of release here, Taurus, with someone from your past. Taurus, you have the King of Wands again. Like I said, it could be dealing with this fire sign or you're taking on this energy. And the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy. Or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, Taurus, I feel like you're trying to manifest cutting this person off and being closed off to them. Because, of course, I see that you may be retaliating here by doing something, Taurus. You're in your head about it. You're in your head about it. But I feel like you're cutting them off because they were juggling. They were out being a player. That you found these passionate messages. You saw that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. They took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. So, I feel like you're cutting them off. I'm going to take a look at Twin Flames Exposed for you, Taurus. I'm going to take two cards here. These are your thoughts, feelings, or confessions. Or their thoughts, feelings, and confessions. And or confessions. Everything always points back to you. I don't know who's saying that. You're saying it to them. They're saying it to you. What else for Taurus? I didn't open up because then I would be letting you in. Mm. Well, you're closed off over there. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Taurus. Playfulness. <laughs> Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Uh, love is the greatest healer. So laugh about it. I'll be laughing with someone else. 
I just will be laughing with someone else. And I think that's what you're plotting to do, Taurus. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.